What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Skaima, and welcome to CN Figures. Figures in your house. And for this toy review, we're going to look at the DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys action figure sideboard. Man, this figure looks so good. You can see him inside of his box with the accessory that he comes with. And the inside of the box looks pretty good. I like it. Right here in the bottom, there's DC Multiverse, including the name of the figure. And we also get it from the both sides of the box, like this side. And also this side, with the name of the show, Team Titans. And McFarlane Toys right there in the bottom. And same thing right here. And also right here in the top. In the back side... We see the name of the character, along with the name of the TV show, McFarlane Toys right here in the corner. And I really like this nice picture of him. And there's all the figures in the set right there in the bottom. And there's nothing here in the bottom, in the bottom side or the top side. So enough chatting, let's take him out. And this is a quick update on my Storm Collectibles Bane. That I accident edit the part of the spikes that he has in the back of his shoes or boots. I don't know what they are, because these spikes that he has, they look pretty good. And also, they added this detail as well. And also, I found out that this is not color brown. I just don't know what type of color it is, but it does make it nice. And you can see in his back of his arms, it has some muscle sculpt with some veins around it. And I do like the veins a lot, but same thing on the muscle sculpt. And it's Pants in the back of his pants, it also has a little bit of sculpting and a little bit of detail on it. And these, well, one is big and one is small. Like this one here is the smallest, and this is the biggest. And right here in the back of his mask, you can see it has a little bit of wrinkles. And the little tubes right here in the back of his head are light green. And around his waist here, you can see it has some buckles. It's kind of sculpted a little bit and a little bit detail on his shirt. And here's the figure out of his box. And this cyborg figure is based of the Teen Titan TV show from Cartoon Network. And they did put it once in the Kids WB just for a little while. And then they put it back to Cartoon Network. It's to come out in the Saturday mornings. When the opening song is about to start, my family kind of sing along. Boy, Tom McFarlane done a pretty good job making this figure. It looks so good. I've been wanting to get a cyborg figure from the Team Titans. And I hope they make the other ones from the show. I think this one is a keeper. Okay, so now let's get on with his accessories. And here are the accessories the figure comes with. And I'm going to start with this energy of Fed Blast that looks so good. I really love the nice color they added here. And right here in the bottom, you can see some detail that's very nice. Also here in the middle and right here in the top, but this one is small. And right here in the tip, you can see that here is dark blue in the middle. All the way in the bottom is light blue. And you can see his knuckles tattooed around the white part. Because it's also a changeable hand. And you can see a little bit of blue color here. And also here. And more silver sculpted that's pretty good it also comes with this stand but there's nothing a lot on it just the pig and the dc logo right there and there's nothing here in the back and it also comes with this card with his name and there's a picture of cyborg it's the exact same one from the back of the box of this figure and there's a bio and again we see cyborg longer his name and the name of the TV show. I just love Teen Titans very much. Okay, so now let's get back with the figure. And here's Cyborg again. I know that the Teen Titans show ended like a while back. I still watch it, seeing the same episodes over and over. I just don't get bored. Man, this figure is so good. But what type of material do you use on the blue parts that make this figure look so sick? And the head sculpt came out very well. So let's take a good look at that. And you can see his signature red eye right there. With some little bit of gray color around here. With some little bit of detail in each side. Well, only this side. Because this side, you can see his human ear. You can see his eyebrow. 
and you can see his eye right in there with some black color and you can see his nose and a little bit of wrinkles right there in the top you can see his smile his silver chin and this part is so smooth but it's also sculpted and you can see some great color around here in his neck and also here on his torso with this detail sculpted. I do like the white parts on this figure. And you can see it has some black parts here in the, on his arm in each one. On his waist, on his legs. And his arms, you can see some silver gray color here. And also some detail around the torso. A line here. And some sculpting around the waist. And let me see in the back. Yep. More sculpting here. Around the back, more detail, more black color as well. But really nothing around the bottom of his waist. And I just really like the shoulders. Look at that. Look at that great work they've done here. With some detail inside right there in each one. And also around his arms. And also has this circles like around the shoulders, around his legs. And you can see they added these pieces around the knees and the knuckles came out very good I like the sculpting but I don't know why they added this holding hand this figure did not came anything to hold on but you can see his fingers right there his hands they came out very good and you can see he has some wrinkles on it on the silver fingers you can see his thumb you can see some white color inside his hand Man, the knuckles are great. And you can see more silver color right there in the bottom of his white hands in each one. And this is the only hand that you can take it out and put that energy effect blast. But that piece is not that easy to put on. Oh, you almost forgot that his eyebrow, it is a little bit sculpted. And his lip has a little bit of black color in there. And you can see right there inside the blue part, you see some detail. It looks so good. In the back of his head, there's more circles here. And there's his other eyebrow right in there. And you can see more sculpting around his chest. And man, this detail is very good in each side of his shoulders. And also right there on his legs, looking good. And also here in the arms, very nice. And more black color here in the bottom of his legs. Where's the white color? Well, the white parts is also sculpted and also on his shoes. And also has some pieces of gray color, just like his knees and each foot. And more circles in each one of his feet. And sculpting here on his bottom of his shoes. And I just cannot stop liking this figure. This figure came out so good I almost forgot like you see more detail in the back of his legs and more silver lines right there as well now let's talk about his articulation you can move his head side to side rotation you can look down a little bit and also up you can open his arms as much rotation and each one a little bit of bicep swivel and this has no butterfly joint but you can bend the arms a little bit with no double jointed but it has some wrist articulation swivel it oh yeah in each one of his arms there's some silver color line and also right there in the back torso articulation you can bend it back and forth waist articulation a little bit you can open his legs as much, kick a lot from the from the front, but not from the back. But we do get double jointed on the knees and some ankle articulation. And also this too. Now, who is ready for some comparing size? But first, let's see how tall this figure stands. He stands around just exactly seven and a half inches tall. Here he is with my NECA figure Dutch, and you can see that sideboard is taller than this guy. And here he is with my DC Multiverse Starfire, and you can see that sideboard is taller than her. 
And here he is with my favorite Morris Celeb, Thanos. And there you have it, guys. Man, this figure is so awesome. I really like it. And this was my second DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys figure review that I did here in my channel. Because I already reviewed Nightwing. But I think I like this guy more. Because I do like the detail that he has on his shoulders. And like I said, Teen Titans, I never get bored. Alright, so this is all for today, guys. So thank you for watching for today's review. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to share this video, go ahead, be my guest. Comment, but remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. Especially, do not leave links of inappropriate website pages. Because those type of comments are not allowed on this content. Because if you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my videos like my toy hunts and my toy reviews. And please follow my Facebook page, CM Figures. And also follow me on Twitter and also follow me on my Instagram. i catch you guys on the next video. Take care, be safe, keep on hunting, and keep on collecting. I'll see you next time. This is CN Skaima and Cyborg, and we're out in line.